ability to thrive. So let me introduce you to Pillar 3, and that is our Developmental Policy 3. Energy, City, and a Technology Hub. Energy City. And I know most people haven't probably seen this, but Energy City is built in countries like Bahrain, Qatar, many places. That's a consolidated energy resources and pipelines and big offices that connects with all mineral resources that produces and that produce energy so our energy city is definitely fit to to add value to our industrial vision to be able to create more megawatts to be able to create more substations when we tap into our gas pipelines be able to use our gas and our water as you can see, there is hydroelectric power plants we have to expand. There will be wind farms, there will be solar farms, thermal power plants such as natural gas and biomass power plants. Our energy sources, we need to meet our industrial demands and the demands of our people. We need to build pipelines and it's very important. I mean, when I say pipelines, pipelines across the regions to support the energy system and the infrastructure. But all of this is great to do. Ghana, just remember, we need even to move with the larger step going forward. I want to say this, 640 million people in Africa do not have access to energy. I don't know if you know this, it's more than 50% of Africans population well let me use this opportunity to introduce a sub division idea behind this policy or this vision and that is introducing the nuclear power plant in this country we will be one of the main people and one of the best in the world to have taken this idea and implemented the nuclear energy is rare in the world and more so in Africa but we have a chance to establish international relationships we also have the chance to now trade ur uranium with Niger and Namibia that's connecting already to be able to build this we will position ourselves as the heart of Africa nuclear power plants does not only reduce the cost per kilowatt but it just makes electricity affordable visible accessible and we need this because they have it but we don't and we are struggling more than 50 percent of us we still don't have light in 2024 when we have uranium sitting no energy no technology but technology is a must Ghana needs a technology hub and that's why we've combined technology hub with the energy city when I say technology hub I don't know if the old school will really understand what I mean but I would have to break it down okay it's a combination of Silicon Valley's and on a whole industrial platform okay to build all technological gadgets that the world demands everybody today is holding an iPhone or they have a laptop or or they have a tap but we don't produce these things in our country we have the minerals already we have lithium we have recycling plastic going into industrialization is going to give us the capacity to be able to build our own mobile phones and our own laptops and we can produce our schools with laptops that will teach them what we want them to learn right from the beginning we are in control of our destiny by producing it ourselves and it's there we just need to make sure that we put this plants and get this energy and produce this product and do this packaging and trade it to the world that is creating jobs creating value and being in control see one would think it's only mobile phones and laptops and electricals that you need when you're building a technology hub no data centers our data centers are very very important so we intend to build 
more data centers, okay, to support the technology hub. But when they talk about data center, a lot of people think data center is just to store information and data. No, it goes beyond that. We want to position ourselves for the crypto farming in the world. So what our data centers is going to do is that it's going to start mining digital coin, tokenizations. We will tokenize. We will mine digital coins. We will mint. And I know the young people, the youth understand where I'm going with that because they know they're the future. This is the future of finance. And it's trillions, multi-trillions of dollars. We need to tap into this industry and have the power for them to create the demand from us. This is going to make us become the gateway to the multi-trillion dollar Web3 industry in Africa. This technology hub is going to put us ahead. We envision that Ghana leads the software revolution in Africa and the hardware revolution in Africa. We need data centers, and we do, to even support our artificial intelligence and deep learning. It's obvious that no energy, no technology. That said, without industrialization, there will be no digitization. It is impossible. <laughs> Hashtag, it is impossible.